I scoured the internet for every piece of information about the upcoming GPT-4 release, and in today's video, I'm gonna share everything I found. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about GPT-4's parameter size. GPT-3 is trained on 175 billion parameters, and there's been speculation that GPT-4 will be trained on significantly more than that, in the range of 100 trillion parameters. But Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the company that created GPT, says this is complete BS. I saw a visual, and I don't know if it was accurate, but it showed GPT 3.5 versus, I guess, what GPT 4 is expected. And I saw that thing of, on Twitter. Did you? <laughs> was that, was that complete accurate? Complete bullshit. No. Oh, okay. Not, that no. Was a little he says they are more focused on optimizing a model around the same size or slightly bigger because of the efficiencies required to make GPT 4 economically feasible. Training GPT 3 took a year and incredible amounts of computing power, so they only trained it once before releasing it. Given the enormous cost of running and training the model, it would make sense that investing in efficiency before expanding the data set would happen. The last piece of evidence that GPT-4 won't be trained on a much larger data set is that Megatron NLG, a GPT competitor, which is trained on 530 billion parameters, about three times the size of GPT, doesn't perform better. Improving the efficiency of the algorithm would reduce the cost of GPT-4 and ChatGPT. This will be critical if it's going to be the Google search killer many people believe. It's not enough just to return better results. ChatGPT will also need to be on par with the unit economics of a Google search. Next, let's squash another rumor. I've seen many people talking about GPT-4, including image and even video generation. Although Sam Altman has said an AI model capable of creating video is coming, it won't be included in GPT-4 and he doesn't know when to expect it. He said it could come soon or not. Altman is quoted as saying, we'll try to do it, other people will try to do it, it's a legitimate research project. It could be pretty soon, it could take a while. So anyone who had high hopes of GPT-4 taking on other mediums, it'll only be text-based for the foreseeable future. In one of the potentially best corporate investments of all time, Microsoft gave OpenAI $10 billion for a 49% stake in the company. A large portion of that is in Azure credits, which means it's going right back to Microsoft. These two companies will continue to work closely together to bring the next generation of AI to life. Microsoft finally has something that could truly beat Google search. In a blog post from 2020, Microsoft announced a new supercomputer for the exclusive purpose of training large ML models for OpenAI, believing that the new machine would be a top five supercomputer in the entire world. It's clear Microsoft intends to continue making AI a core competitive advantage for their business. The next thing we know about GPT-4 is that code generation will be a huge focus. Earlier this year, news broke that OpenAI was actively hiring specialized software engineers engineers with expertise in using human language to describe their code. This functionality could continue to show its face in Microsoft-owned GitHub Copilot. Copilot today is already an incredible productivity tool, so it's exciting to think where it will be with continued investment and innovation. So when is GPT-4 coming? Another topic of plenty of speculation, it's already been rumored to be here in the form of Bing Chat, although there has been no evidence that Bing Chat is anything more than a custom version of GPT-3.5. It seems likely version four will be released in 2023, but we don't know exactly when yet. Can you comment on whether GPT-4 is coming out in the first quarter, first half of the year? It'll come out at some point when we are like confident that we can do it safely and responsibly. On the topic of expectations for the new version, Mr. Altman has already stated the GPT-4 rumor mill is a ridiculous thing. The GPT-4 rumor mill is like a ridiculous thing. I don't know where it all comes from. I don't know why people don't have like better things to speculate on. I get a little bit of it, like it's sort of fun, but that it's been going for like six months at this volume. People are begging to be disappointed, and they will be. Like, it's, you know, people are gonna, like, the hype is just like, we don't have an actual AGI, and I think that's sort of what is expected of us. It's clear he's trying to keep expectations in check for this new version. GPT 3.5 was a phenomenon, and catching lightning in a bottle like that twice in a row is incredibly difficult. I'm super excited to see what's next for GPT, chat GPT, and AI in general. Whenever it's released, I'll be there reporting on it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.